matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Nganu is three years his senior. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of eight wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 247 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, presenting the challenger, Surreal Bungamaka. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 15 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis the Predator. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Three, three, you ready? Three, three, three. All right, you ready? Let's go, all right, guys, so we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought. In the pocket, two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. A little single collar tie there. Big call for punch land. Now we get back to range. Liver kick. Oh, huge left hand from Francis Ngannou. Every time he loads up and extends, 
you feel like the fight might be ending. Yeah, absolutely. And the whole crowd holds their breath, right? right? You hear a big exhale. Every time Francis loads up to go finish a fight, you hear the crowd take all the air in yeah. because they're ready to explode. That's the type of performer, that's the type of fighter that Francis is. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Ooh. Good right here. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. From the moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Francis and Guy. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, has the guard closed here. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> and he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Continue. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. The Predator gets caught with that punch. Blocks the shot. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick-heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Ooh, what a punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Can't take many of those, you better check. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Out of range with that kick attempt. 20 seconds left. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Nice punch by the Predator, Francis Ngannou. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene.
Okay, you ready, round two? You ready? Let's round two fight. is underway. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Leg kick. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. He blocks the punch. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Ngannou gets caught with that punch. Oh, how about the right hand from Francis Ngannou? It's hard to watch, I can't imagine it feels awfully good. You watch Francis put out an entire generation of heavyweight that came before him. Put out Overeem. Put out. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. An uppercut in. Good punch, oh. man. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Hey, keep moving. Hey, take that shot. Take the shot. All right, single collar tie now. Lands a big elbow there. Oh, straight right. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Up again here, but hurting. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go change that finish down now. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, straight right. Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. Nice punch there by Francis Ngannou. Slips the left oh, hand. Oh! Smoke. He put him to sleep. Oh! Do you believe it? He got him! What a fight! Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. And there he is, the baddest man on the planet, all smiles tonight, UFC heavyweight champion, and your winner by TKO here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, five seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, and still, Still the baddest.